been a while since we did a Andy Fraser IT video so I thought tonight is a decent time to start up again um, with the WWDC releasing the public beta of iOS 11. This is my iPad Air 2 which I've just installed it on so we'll have a look and see what's new. Uh, I've not installed it on my phone yet so maybe let's have a look. Right so this, this part doesn't look too much different um, apart from up here, the signal bars have, they're not dots anymore, they're lanes again, dual signal, that's good. Um, and this is in the middle, this used to be over there, that was one of the updates on iOS 10, so they've moved that back to the middle. I did watch the uh, keynote, but I was kind of dipping in and out of it, so i only seen a few bits of it. Let's see what happens if we scroll along. Uh, so we've got pictures, uh, this is all kind of normal, learn more about iOS 11, got the weather, uh, and it's, well it's still on, right anyway. So that, well that's kind of nice how that moves in and the date moves over a bit, and it's back to the centre. It's got the camera, I'm not going to see anything on the camera just now because the case is on. So we've got panorama, square, photo, video, slow-mo time lapse. It's kind of just the normal, I think. I'm not sure if time lapse was there before, but if it's not, then it is now. Um, another thing I noticed when I was just testing it there, this screen, sorry about the lights, this and the iPad's manky as well, I tried to clean it, but it didn't work so good. And this screen, the buttons are a bit more understated now, so it's not got the rings around them like it did previously. And that's all that's different there, I think. I'll just put in the fingerprint. And then here, what the biggest change, this dock is here now. Let's see if we can bring this out of the light. Got this dock now. Well, that's, in, that's new and failed. Um, nothing really else new. These are new icons for iTunes Store and App Store. And yeah, for books as well, that's new. Um, so let's see. So this swipe swipe up isn't from the bottom anymore. Oh no, it still is. So, well, kinda works a bit better with a case on a swipe up. And then we've got Reddit and this new part. So one of the things I was trying to do before I started the video was turn off night shift, and I can't figure out how to do it. It's not that one. That's do not disturb. Is it? Is it night shift? No. That's. What's this one? Oh, that's just silent. So where's night shift then? Is it in here? More mobile data. Nope. In here. I think it's here. See that orange line under the under the dock? I think that might be it. Can we I don't know how we get that. Maybe if we turn it around. Oh well that don't work, does it? Let's try again. Uh, this one? It is, look, it hides underneath the dock. Well, it is beta, I suppose. Let's turn it off. Right, let's see what this dock's about then. We'll open it. What happens if you hold it? Nothing. Oh, you can change So you can change it. Have a look at files. So here's a, a video that I just made. Maybe blank some of this stuff out. These are some iTunes uh, app development stuff that I've been doing. So I've got some stuff tagged on my iPad. I don't know if that's going to translate on it here. Yeah, yeah, these two, these are from the iPad. That's pretty cool. They're yeah, not the iPad, the computer, the iMac. And anyway, so I think this is kind of. It's not great to look at this on here because I'm going to have to blank everything out. And I believe you can add on. Dropbox under here, let's see if that functionality is there. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like you can add anything there. I'll have a look in settings in a minute and see. And the multi... No, that's not going to work for multitasking. Right, so let's bring files back up. How do we get the dock back up? We need to keep peeling. Alright, so you slide it up like that. And then, what do we... Tap this. This is how we did it in the show. Oh yeah, and that just slides in there real nice like that. Right, let's see, well, what can we put? We put books in here. 
So who do we put in? Just drag it. Yeah, that worked. Um, and well, let's go for our App Store. Put that in there. And iTunes Store. Oh, it takes them out of there and puts them in the dock. All right. So if we open App Store, then can we open iTunes? All oh, right. See, that's not really how you work, is it? So I've got iTunes Store. Can I open App Store at the same time? So. It used to feel like you couldn't really have some different apps open. This keyboard, by the way, is different. See, it's got the punctuation there. So let's go uh, Amazon. And then on Pages as well. Well, in fact, we'll need to get Pages in the dock first, won't we? Not that one. This one, Pages Manager. Bring you down here. Right, let's see, can we get... Amazon shown is open. Right, we're done with that. Let's get Amazon. And then swipe up and bring in Pages. Nah, that doesn't work. See, Pages doesn't let you do that. What about if we've got Pages open and then we try and get Amazon? Nope, takes over. Well, that's fair enough. Kind of expected that. Right, let's have a look at settings. How do we add stuff to the files menu? That's what I was wondering. I don't know if you can yet, but you must be able to in the future. Let's see what they're saying about CD. Listen for Hey CD. Only when connected to power. Pressed for a CD. These all seem to be the same. Got some new wallpapers. Oh, any more dynamic? Well, no, maybe that one's new. What have we got for stills? These two. That one's new. And maybe these colourful ones at the bottom are new but that's about it. So you, so you can just swipe up near the bottom to get that, which is a lot better. It's always there then, right? So we're in settings. You can still get it up when you're in settings. Just have a wee flick. Pretty good. And then you can go, well you're in settings. Go to Amazon. And then if you want to go to the view with all your open things, you just keep going up. Maybe you have to put it down first. Like that. There we go. And then we can, I like these sliders actually, it's kind of new, and this is a volume one, you can slide it like that, or you can slide it like that, and where well, you've got the camera, This so the force touch thing's a bit weird, because it doesn't have force touch, but you can still do force touchy stuff, a new message, what I wanted to see is if the, so on the iPhone with the force touch, you can be typing a message and then just hold the keyboard and it turns into like a trackpad. Nah, still not doing that. That's a really good feature of the, the iPhones with a forced touch, but you can't can't do it here. What else? I wonder if there's anything in your notes. We're not even on the Wi Fi here. Let's go for a new note. So you can, what's this? this, the font's changed on that. Alright, no, it's maybe a bit better actually, it looks, looks easier to deal with. Different types of, it's like proper word processor stuff now, what's this, grid? Oh, it puts in a nice uh, table. That'd be quite helpful. And can you still add a picture, or what does that add to? Scan documents. Scan documents. Oh, that is good. So you can scan stuff now. That is good. I, I've always wanted to be able to scan that to uh, to scan like letters and stuff to take them with, and you can draw a picture, which it isn't new. That's not new. That's a uh, that's an old thing. Well, not old, but it came with I iOS 10. That's kind of it for the first look at the iOS 11. Uh, hopefully, well, let's have a look at Maps, actually. I heard them saying something about Maps. They said, right, they said that when you go to Maps, it's got layouts of the shopping centre. Now, there's a shopping centre around here called the Gale. Let's have a look if that's got a floor plan of the Gale. Well, that's all the shops that are in the Gale. It's 
not really a floor plan, I wouldn't have said. Let's try, well, I don't even know any American malls. Let's, there you go, Valco Shopping Mall. That sounds like a mall. Oof, it looks kind of old though, eh? Looks like a sort of old school place. Let's try a different one. The Oaks, that sounds pretty fancy. The Oaks Shopping Centre. So what we got here, that's not a floor plan either really, it's just a shape. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Right, so there we go, why are we not on the Wi-Fi though? Oh I like that, see how it goes, ding ding ding. Right, so that was the first look at the iOS 11 on iPad Air 2 with a bit low battery. I'm sure it looks a lot better on, uh, for example, the or works slightly differently on the iPad Pro. What's my favourite thing? I love the dock. It makes it seem more like um, the Mac, which is pretty cool. And I like I like this new thing as well. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll find. Although I'm not sure about it pretending to have touch. And have a force touch. That'll do for now. Thanks for watching and uh, tune in next time for whenever I bring up a new video, whenever that may be. Thanks, bye.